Good day, chaps and chapesses. What you'll see here is the main parts of an ML MCK Magneto. I've stripped all the major parts out so that I can carry out the modification. The modification I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the condenser from within the body of the uh, armature and I'm going to put it where you would on more modern vehicles, for instance, um, like on a car. So in the points area. So what we have here then, and I'm going to move the parts now. So here's the, the main part that we're dealing with. And these parts here. So initially <clears throat> you have to remove you have to remove this end piece from the rotor and in doing so I marked it although that wasn't necessary because after I'd taken it apart there is in fact a pin on my version so this is a 1925 ML MCK so <clears throat> let's put that to one side again for the moment these are the parts we're going to be dealing with first of all I needed to remove the old condenser which was in a real mess the insulation had broken down, it didn't measure very well. So here's the original condenser and a little clip that went on to hold it all in place. That initially, originally rather, was installed in here and screwed in the other way around. It was screwed, it was screwed in that way actually. So it was screwed in there and then the clip was screwed across and so on to hold it in place. So that was simple. I only needed to unscrew it. That's that out the way. So that's that out the way completely. Now, what I then did is I etched uh, a PCB or printed circuit board that I bought online and uh, I etched it all off with ferric chloride etch fluid uh, so that it became an insulator. So this piece here is fully insulated now inside here. I then modified the original brass clip that was holding the um, uh, original condenser around uh, in place and so I had to cut off a little piece at the top here, I miscut that slightly and then I screwed that onto there to hold this in place. Now I chose to use aerodite underneath just to hold everything so that it can't now move but I don't think it was necessarily uh, required but that's what I did. I then attached a solder tag, waiting for me to solder, and I'll show you this a bit later on, waiting for me to solder this uh, into the position here. Okay, so that is the modification, that's all it is. Now by removing the old condenser and putting a single piece of fiberglass board in the bottom here, it happens to line up nicely with where the original fixing hole was in, in line this way, horizontally. Okay, so that is that. That's that piece modified. We can put that down for one moment. Okay, so that's those pieces dealt with. Now, the next issue was to put, move the condenser to the other end of the distributor where the points are, uh, the magneto rather, where the points are. So now, what I did is I manufactured another little um, insulator because the insulators again were useless so I made fiberglass insulators which you can see here one here and one here so I copied the original insulator shapes uh, so that's there and then I chose to solder the capacitor or condenser call it what you wish um, the, the new one and I'll come to that in a bit uh, onto the brass original brass washer that was on the top of here so I soldered that onto there so that makes that like a solder tag and then I soldered it onto the brass connector here which goes to the points area okay so that becomes the live that's the live side and that's the earth side screwed through here insulated um, I could have made a solder tag here which would have been preferable to be honest because that way the, the condenser capacitor would have been removable but I didn't choose to do that, I soldered it on, but that's hindsight, it's good for you. So that is the modification. Now, you must use, and I'll leave this on the video for a second, this is the make and requirement you need. You need a reefer PME 271M, 
That is the type of capacitor this is. Okay, again, I bought these online. They, do, they come in various values. The value of this one, ignore the S X2, that's the class of the, the, the capacitor. It's a 150 nanofarads. I'll write this down for you in a minute. So it's 150 nanofarads um, that you require. So I'll leave it on the screen at the, at the end of the video. So that was soldered in place. That is now the condenser. Nice and easy. I don't need to remove everything all again just because the condenser has gone. And the only thing is when you remove the condenser, the original condenser from here, you will end up with two little wires. You'll have a, li a little wire and this thicker one. Solder those two together because they were originally joined together. I think it was through the, um, the, the, the crimp areas that were in there holding the original one. But solder the two wires together. They need to stay um, together. And then that well, it will solder into there and go back together again. So that solders to the solder tag. So the two wires both go into the solder tag as shown there. Now, you might have to extend this wire just fractionally to do that. All right, so let's put those pieces down. That gives you an issue. One issue left. This is now, when it's in the end of the magneto, the capacitor is too tall. I'm going to fold that down once I've screwed this in place when I rebuild it. Fold it down so that it just sits on top of the screw, just lays on the screw. That'll be fine. Now, maybe a blob of glue underneath or something just to stop it moving. Now, that gives you a height issue. You can't then use what is the original brass cap that clips in the top because it's not tall enough. So again, I'm molded with fiberglass. I made a fiberglass molding and then glued the, araldited the brass cap to the top. So in essence, I have an extended, I'll put that clip down, an extended version of the cap, which fits nicely on the top. I molded round um, toilet roll with insulating tape round until such size as I got the inside diameter. And then I literally put that on there. If you search online, you'll see how to mold with fiberglass and use fiberglass if you don't already know. I chose then, although that fits quite tightly, I chose then to use a clip. So I've got a nice stainless steel clip, which will eventually go into place to make a nice neat job of that. Spray this black, job finished. And then I've just got to rebuild the magneto. Okay, well I hope you find this video of use for yourselves um, with your projects, and I may see you another day. Thank you.